Hello, hello, this is Deanna's DIY. Today, I got the camera crooked. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to clean the inside of the stool and the outside. So, where the hell is my cleaning stuff at? <sighs> okay. No, I'm not going to move that. Nope, not that either. You can use dishwashing liquid because remember, whatever chemicals you use is going to go in your food when you heat that turn that oven on inside. So, all right, here we go. All right, so first, let me move my candle. Thingy. Now, put this here. I'm going to take all of these out. I'm going to replace all of these. And the ones that are dirty, going in the sink. I'm not hiding nothing from y'all. Y'all gonna see exactly how my stools look on the inside. I do not want that thing to fall back there. I'm just taking these out. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all of them with the stuff, right? Top isn't the issue. So now I did all that. This strip keeps stuff from falling down on the side. I brought this like four years ago from Wish.com. I had four of them, and I gave my son three. I kept one. So pull this up. There you go. So. Don't afraid to get in there, as you can see, because I just cleaned mine. Every time I, uh, pretty much about twice a week. This is safe to use vinegar. I already put the soap on here. When you're doing fried food, oh yeah, it'll be grease all in here. All in here. Over and stuff like that. I'm gonna go get my green pit. That's what you want. I gotta figure out how to, uh, uh now, some people, I don't think this is going to look up like that. We're going to leave it be. Alright, so I am going to clean. Uh, I'm going to lay this back down for a minute. I don't remember how to do it. But I gotta get that out, rent that out. Now, I don't know anyone other than me that actually goes through all this trouble, but I like my stuff clean, no matter what. No matter what. Almost shut. 
shook that thing on my finger. That vinegar that reminds me, vinegar keeps the top of your stove white anyway. I'm gonna need a little bit. all over everything okay. so in here Ooh, make sure you got little as close on as possible that's gonna make you happy that first. You want to make sure you get all the edges. Now gas stoves is the same thing, just be careful with the pilot because you can blow it out just by cleaning it. Alright. I gotta I'm gonna have to YouTube to see what these are because they not I don't know. My landlord said this was a new stool, but it looks like it's coming apart. And I'm going to wipe this part down. Make sure you get underneath. All the way around. And we're going to do this before I lay it down. Just the inside. here for good measure. Alright. I used to be scared to open these things. I'm now on the top because in Philly you never know what you want to find <laughs> when you lift that joint up to clean it. Now, even though some places I moved into in Philly, the store was filthy. I mean, filthy. Like, they should have just threw that joint in the trash and brought a new one. But, all landlords are not those types of landlords, so. And when you got something white, man, it's hard to keep white white. It really is. Alright. Now, thing about rag and make sure you get all the lint. Now I was cleaning the silver part. I'm gonna rinse that and dry them so I can put them on right now because some people don't know how this is an electric stove. Some people don't know how to uh put their burner thing back on here. First of all, you want to make sure that they're dry. That's the number one, all the way dry. You got to stick that finger in there, all the way around. Now, I'm not doing the inside of the stove. Only did the top part. Because I don't know anyone. People probably do. I just don't know them. But this is one. I 
I'll show you. I had to put the thing back in here because electric stoves are tricky. I've been here for a while. Plus, when I was like a pre-supervisor, way, way, way back in 2001, I think it was, I was responsible for like eight floors. Now, I didn't have to clean. My job was to buff, strip floors, that type of stuff. That's two. It's, I'm sweating. So, and I forgot to put my um, my workout thing on underneath on my stomach. That way I get two workouts in one. So, people always say I, don't, I can't afford to go to the gym. There's plenty of things you can do in your house. Like sweeping your rug with a broom instead of a vacuum. Oh man, your day gets your heart racing, aka cardio. Pretty, uh, that's what you want. I gotta get out my uh, the ones I just threw away. I gotta get out the new ones. Thank God they got them at uh, Walmart. They usually have them for like 12 for like four dollars, something like that, for the silver things that I'm about to put in here. Now, some people be like, Well, this is good enough, but if you're cooking a lot, are you going to take the time to scrub these things every time you cook? I know I don't want to have to do that. That's the one that's in the camera. So, I don't know if you could use these for for gas. I know they have the square ones for gas. I used to have the, the square ones when I was in Philly. And then you take this, this part right here. See that? That goes in first. Do not jam it in there. All you do is stick it in a little bit. There you go. Simple, simple, simple. Alright, so I'm going to do this one. And then these are the tiny ones. And I only got two and two left, so time to get some more from Walmart and push it down. That's what I do with mine. Try to line that up so the way it's going to go in. Turn that one around. That's very important. You gotta line it up the way it's supposed to be lined up. So we're gonna do this one. Remember, this goes in first. This part right here. Oh my god, I sweat rolling in my eyes. You stick it in and then you push it. That's it. I don't know if y'all can see this one. A little bit. All right, so I want to do this one, and then this one more. There you go. And this is the last one. Uh, okay, this is the last one. Again, these go in first. Now this right here, I haven't been able to get it off. I have scrub, scrub, scrub. So I'm going to have to YouTube it or Google it. Because I do not. And there it is. Everything is done. Look at that. Nice and clean. And I can put my candle thing back. Now this needs to be clean. I was keeping this up here, like way back like this. But then I noticed this start turning yellow and I said, nope, can't have that. So, but this gotta be clean. 
because as you can see, it's wax all in there. So that concludes our how to clean the top part of the stove, not the inside, because I think I did the inside video. I don't think I did the inside, but I'm going to do the refrigerator next. Now that's going to take a little bit longer, because you got to take everything out, all the shelves. That's some work. You talking about sweating? That's some work. So. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate all of y'all. And thanks for assisting. Oh, I still got the gloves on. That's because I was cleaning my bear on me for this video. Not with these gloves, but I did use them for the sink. That's one thing you don't want to use. The same gloves that you cleaning your toilet with. Look, my hands are sweating. And then you use it to clean other. Uh -uh, that's a no-no. So, I, um, oh, and I always spray the handle with the uh, Lysol because germs are germs. And I'm going to spray one quick of the, the knobs. Better safe than sorry, right? But that's the only chemicals that I put on here. Alright, so thanks for watching because now I got to finish my dishes. All of this, I'm gonna clean this up. So, hope y'all having a good day.